on the Mayfly bench, another guitar amp build. This particular project was initiated by a player who wanted to get back into it. His requirement was the cabinet of the amplifier had to be finished wood instead of covered in Tolex. Now in this particular video, you guys aren't gonna see me build the amplifier. I've got lots of videos showing exactly how I do all that. That's not interesting. What's interesting is how I'm going to deal with this raw wood cabinet and stain and finish the wood in a way that the client will like. We went through a whole bunch of ideas about what to use for finish. Like for example, this is a stain called Golden Pecan. This is pure garnet shellac. This is a Minwax product here. This particular one was the uh, one he was considering. Finally, we settled on this one. So this is what we're going for. Now the issue with the cabinet is that, well, you know, it has some defects. And I knew that was coming. I knew these little holes would be there. But uh, that's what sandpaper is for. The first order of business is to figure out what to fill these little notches with. On the bottom of the cabinet, I was experimenting with different uh, ways of filling. It's just a regular grain filler. This is the old technique of glue mixed with sawdust. Now these big holes here, I'm not that worried about. Those are gonna be covered with an amplifier corner. The cabinet itself actually is very well constructed. I like it. So this is the stain that we're gonna go with. This is an antique walnut stain from General Finishes. Now this is a gel stain. Gel stain is very important to use on a wood like pine because if you don't use a gel stain with a regular solvent based stain, the stain just kind of flows everywhere all over and you don't get an even application. And that looks like crap. So when you use a gel stain, you get a result that looks more like that. Now that my test filling is done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the cabinet a really nice sanding and we'll see where we're at. Welcome to my sanding room. Today I'm going to sand down the cabinet here with a couple of things in mind. First, I want to see how this grain filler holds up and what it does. And secondly, I just want to clean up the edges, make sure all the surfaces are really nice in preparation for staining. Here we go.
Well, that was the first pass. Let's see if it's still got some stuff. It's a fairly nasty ding there. Might have to just fill that along with some of this tear out here. Along that knot, and some more tear out here. Along this knot. But I'm pleased to report that I can turn it around without dropping it here. That that grain filler that I was worried about here, it sanded out no problem. So we are back in the shop after sanding. The plan now is to try some test stain on this grain fill and this grain fill and see which one we like better. So we've got some stain on our test area and I actually really like how the regular grain filler works. The mixture of glue and sawdust does not nearly look as good. So we've got the grain filler on. Once it dries, I'll sand it all off, have a look at it, and if it needs to be done again, we'll do it again and rinse and repeat until we have something that we like. In the meantime, I'm going to be working on the amplifier itself, but that won't be part of this video. Now, before I put the stain on, I decide to mount all the hardware, make sure everything fit properly, and everything looks good. These panels wouldn't fit until I did some magic around the corners to make them fit. Okay, all the hardware has been test fitted and then removed. The surface has been sanded to 400 grit. We have our stain, we have our things to stain. Now let's come up with a game plan. With a wipe off stain, I need loads of rags. So I'm going to spend the, like half an hour making a stack of rags. Do the insides up until the, just the outside of these cleats here. And then when it's time to do a surface, do that surface and wrap around the stain to this edge. That's my thought. See how it goes. I'm going to start on the bottom and just kind of roll around and end at the top. These were nice sheets at one time. I need a dirty 
Well, I think that went actually pretty well. The staining is done and the camera looks pretty good, but it needs a covering to protect it further. So I'm going to use this stuff called Minwax Polycrylic. It's water-based, it's uh, satin, and it should look pretty good. This is after one coat of the clear coat. I always add shielding foil to the underside of the top of the cabinet where the chassis contacts it to shield off the entire box. And I think it's done. Well, there we go. Assembled and awaiting final test. We'll do that after the kids are in bed. I am awaiting the front and back panels. Um, a call to the uh, supplier and uh, they're shipping me a pair straight away. But you know, it kind of looks good with the silver. So the amp is done. Kinda. It's still missing the control plate. Now, which one's the mid-range? Um... So when the control plate arrives, we're going to install them front and back, and then send the amp off to its anxious customer. Until then, we're gonna play it. Mm -hmm.